Check your vision. We've done laser on your keratoconus in the left eye. Okay. Can you read anything there? Yeah, everything. Go. Yeah, that one too. Also. Yeah. Come on, Andy. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Let's make sure you're not cheating. Come on, read oh. that for me. O Z D B K. Fantastic. Come on, pushing it. K R H K S D. Super. S V H C Z. So the people, doctors who are watching, observing, this is a keratoconus patient, and we have done laser technique on her. Laser cornea plastic, and she's reading. She's already at 2040 right now. Come on, Angie, let me push you more. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Anything more? K O R D H. That's 2030, guys. Come on. N V D O K. That's 2025. Angie, make my day. <laughs> o H R uh, K D. Super. Give me the second one again. Uh, o N. Angie! <laughs> Proud of you. That's 2020. I'm so excited. 2020. So, so the press, so the press to see other people on the forums on in the internet uh -huh. talking about how they have their stitches coming off after the transplants. Oh, in keratoconus. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they also some people they still wearing those hard contacts. You ever see that? They see they that, deserve yeah. something better. I agree. I agree. Actually, Angie, a lot of these things, as you know, you've seen so many keratoconus patients here. And even the day I did your surgery, we did so many firefighters, if you remember. Yeah, I remember. Some had lasers, some had rings, ICLs, toric lens. We did a lot of stuff. I believe transplant should be the absolute last resort yeah. in these cases. Just for the heck of this, can, can you just explain me a little bit about the keratoconus so I can post it on there? Of course. Yes. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Video. I'll do it right now for you. Thank so, you. So, Angie, come on. I'll show you on the screen. I'll draw it out for you actually. So, if you can see here, and the keratoconus is a condition where your cornea, which is normally dome shaped, uh -huh. correct, becomes cone shaped. Okay. Correct? Mm -hmm. Now, because it's cone shaped, you have astigmatism, it's a thin cornea, it's what we call a high keratometry, a very steep. Okay. Right? Now, there are various things I do, mm -hmm. as long as you are stable. Once you're stable, like in your case, I did a laser technique to shape you back into a nice dome. And you're seeing 2020 today. Yeah. We removed hardly 18 microns, so it doesn't weaken your cornea. It's not LASIK. No. It's a laser cornea plastic without cutting, a unique it, thing that I've done for 21 years for keratoconus. Yeah, and this is what people don't understand that with what I have, I see 2020. Yes. They, now, they can't. Absolutely. And the reason I'm watching you and observing you is so you don't change. Because yeah. I've seen you being stable and this much doesn't change your cone. If you were to change, Angie, then I cross link you. Meaning I permanize the shape with the collagen cross-linking technique. Mm -hmm. Got it? So that's one aspect. Now, in your right eye, if you remember, you had a very advanced cone. Yeah. So what I did there was I put a ring into your cornea mm -hmm. called intacts. Right? Yeah. Intacts also, I do three kinds of intacts. There are different kinds of rings I have in from Europe, the ones that are approved in the US. We do the rings in different ways. Artistically, and one or two segments. And we corrected you and then we did laser on top of that to bring you mm -hmm. to vision. And then in that eye, also cross-linked to keep you stable because of the advanced cone. Done. Again, each of these surgeries, a few minutes, topical, no transplant, and you're free. And they all work. Because I yes. see 20, yes. 20. <laughs> Now, let's say you were a keratoconus patient, but you had very high nearsightedness, more okay. than a stigma to them. Mm -hmm. I put in what is called an ICL. I put a contact lens inside the eye on your lens. Mm. Correct that. Residual astigmatism, I can correct with laser okay. on top of that. Now let's say you're 60 years old, 58 years old, and your lens is slightly, your natural lens is cloudy, mm -hmm. early cataract. I will then actually remove this lens and put in a toric lens implant. Okay. Forever. That's a new one. And you're done. This is one of the firefighters you saw there. Yeah. Day, and we're done again. Now, you can also do, in very extreme cases, where the cornea is very weakened, very scarred, cannot make sense, less than 150 microns, I shave off the top layer of your cone. Okay. And I put only one layer of a donor cornea. Hmm. So again, remember, I haven't entered your eyes, not a full transplant. This is like the furthest thing I do. Okay. And then once your cornea is nicely healed, I've also built up tissue. Remember, I've given yeah. thickness. Mm -hmm. Now I can do laser on top of it. Okay. Or do my cataract surgery or put an ICL. No limits to combinations. And then there are so many combinations we do. You saw the patient we did recently also. He just flew back to Abu Dhabi. Is... When we do these cases, I can also do intact mm -hmm. and do cataract or intact ICL. Mm -hmm. I can do laser okay. on top of intact for residual error. We can combine laser with cataract wow. or with ICL. 
You can exchange these things. You saw a patient, a pastor who comes here. Mm -hmm. He had 12 failed keratoconus surgeries. We removed his ICL and PRK and uh, a lot of surgeries he had had from many surgeons abroad. And we corrected him by doing a single surgery to correct the refractive error. Wow. So to me, keratoconus is actually a refractive error. And mm -hmm. so if you remember, I measured you so many times yeah. to determine stability. Yeah. And also what I call sensibility of the cornea, meaning yeah. am I accurate? Yeah. And then we did that technique in one eye, that in the other. So yeah. no, patients do not have to despair nowadays with these technologies and so many combinations. Yeah. We can now make them see and many a time without glasses. Of course, that is not a guarantee ever. No. But to free up somebody as young as you and give them their vision with their own corneas yeah. still there, I think is huge. Now. While we're at it, another important topic I talk about at world conferences, which has confused a lot of doctors and patients, is cross-linking. Mm -hmm. If you remember, I've done one yeah. of you. Cross-linking is we actually take your cornea, which is, think of it as cellophane paper, mm -hmm. you make it into plastic, firm. Okay. firm. So how you form it is a process with the drops of riboflamin and ultraviolet light. Mm -hmm. Where doctors and patients are confused, they're just cross-linking every cone. That's wrong. Because if you think about it, if you have a cone and you just cross-linked it, you just permanized your damage. Cone, yeah. You permanently disabled the person. Now, mm -hmm. of course, you're saying put on contact and all that, but no, but your disability is there. Yeah. What I keep teaching is, first, correct the cone with whatever way, laser, intact, whatever else you're doing here, lamellar, whatever. Then cross-link if you need to, to permanize your results. Okay. That's my philosophy. Yeah. So people are lost in this epi-on, epi-off discussion. The more important discussion is when to cross-link. Yeah. Only when you're changing or then, like in your case, we have confirmed perfect vision for the license. Yeah. Does that help you? Yeah, thank you very much. After so many doctors telling me that I need a corneal transplant, I found the right one. <laughs> thank you so much. And again, you're going into the medical field. You've already been in that field. Yeah. Be the best. Thank you. All right? Yeah. <laughs>